Well, cases like these are putting a national spotlight on grand juries. Now, we thought it'd be interesting to find out what people in our area know about them. WSBT 22's James Fillmore is here, and James, the answer is not very much. Yeah, I was in downtown Mishawaka for more than an hour, Rick. I talked to dozens of people, and nobody could tell me one thing about a grand jury, except for a Bethel College professor who's worked directly with grand juries in the past. He was more than happy to explain how they work. Tom LaFountain has worked as a criminal justice professor at Bethel College for nine years. Before that, he was a deputy prosecuting attorney for St. Joseph County, where he interacted with grand juries. And they're actually making a determination as to whether some kind of charge should be filed. Grand juries only hear criminal cases. One of the major differences from a regular jury is only prosecutors present their case to a grand jury. If it's a federal case, all charges have to go through a grand jury. States, on the other hand, have the option of either having a grand grand jury or allowing the prosecutor to file charges in what's called an information. He says the selection process for a grand jury is similar to a traditional one, but unlike a regular jury, a grand jury can hear several cases. We had them called maybe for two or three days in order to get through three or four cases that we might have. When picking a grand jury, a list is used with the names of people who are eligible by state law. Some considerations are taken into account, like if a person is biased, but otherwise, LaFountain says the racial or gender ratio is completely random. The grand jury from the get-go is um, really working under uh, a different set of rules. A normal jury is looking for reasonable doubt, and a grand jury has to determine probable cause. Therefore, LaFountain says traditional juries have a tougher job because it's much harder to prove something beyond a reasonable doubt than to prove there's probable cause that something happened. Now, if you're selected to be on a grand jury, you have to do it unless you have a valid excuse similar to that of a regular jury. LaFountain says grand juries are often used for controversial cases. Yeah, and James, when you look at the grand jury as well, there can either be, what, six people or 12 people on a grand jury. It actually varies by state. In Indiana, it's six, but there are some states that use a 12-person grand jury. Interesting information. James, thanks so much.